One of the causes of strokes that we haven't really paid as much attention to is atrial fibrillation. Unfortunately, my mother in 1992 was a victim of that before we actually started anticoagulating people with AFib. Atrial fibrillation is a very common arrhythmia where the upper part of the heart fibrillates or goes at about 300 and the lower part may follow or may go slow. And atrial fibrillation is very common. It's about five to 10% of the people over the age of 70. It can be caused idiopathic. That means we don't know what causes it. It can be due to valvular heart disease. It can be due to heart failure. It can be due to thyroid disease. One of the big problems with atrial fibrillation is that you are at risk for embolic phenomena. That means clots leaving the heart and going to the brain. And so that causes strokes. So it is a significant risk of strokes and you'll see neurologists order halters on patients that have had strokes to see if they're having this intermittent atrial fibrillation. Well, uh, confusion, uh, inability to speak, uh, double vision, weakness on one side, it never goes both sides. It'll be like all left side, numbness on left side, weakness on left side, or weakness on right are all signs of stroke. You can have a cryptogenic stroke, and that is where uh, you go into atrial fibrillation, have a stroke, or you have a hole in your heart called a PFO that most people actually have, and a clot passes from the right side of the heart to the left side of the heart and goes to the brain. First thing I would say is take a look at your overall health. Go meet with your family physician or your internist or your cardiologist and review your risk factors. What are your risk factors? Hypertension or high blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, and cholesterol. Forget about the family history. You really can't change your family history. Okay, smoking. You're either a smoker or a non-smoker. That's the only thing you can totally fix. Once you quit smoking, your risk of having lung cancer after five years falls off dramatically. Smoking is involved in coronary disease, strokes, peripheral vascular disease. It's, it's the worst thing you can do. Absolutely the worst. And if you are a diabetic and smoke, you're playing Russian roulette. Because it's just a matter of time before you have a heart attack, stroke, or peripheral arterial disease. As far as hypertension, you need to keep your blood pressure systolic under 130 and try to keep the diastolic as close to 80 at all times. Uh, I think one of the problems we have here in Polk County and surrounding, people don't exercise and they don't weight control. They can't do push-ups away from the table. You know, my mom used to say, do you eat to live or do you live to eat? I think there's too many people that live to eat and live to smoke.